Welcome to Mad Soul. In this video, we are going to learn how to identify function. What is function? We have to know that first. Function is a special type of relation. Before defining function, it's better to understand what is relation. In algebra, Relation is the connection between two items. If we say like y equal to x square or y squared equal to x or y equal to x plus 1 or even a point, you know, how to write the point like a 2 and 5 and you know the first is the, the, is the x coordinate which is 2 and then 5 is the uh, y coordinate this is also relation so all these are relation and we can see the relation between x and y but it not necessarily all these relations are function as I said the functions are the specific type of relations now we are going to identify what sort of relations are functions, what sort of relations are not function. And then we are going to define function. So in order to understand which relation is function, which relation is not function, I'm trying to explain two different methods. The first one is mapping diagram. If we have sets of ordered pairs if we have one three then i can say um, two five then another point is three maybe uh, seven another point is four nine so we, if we have this sets of ordered pairs where the first value is x-coordinate and the second value is y-coordinate. x-coordinate, y-coordinate, x-coordinate, y-coordinate, and then x and y-coordinate. And if we show this in a mapping diagram, what I'm meaning here, if we say, okay, our x values, I'm putting in this map, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'm trying to show you the associated y values. So you know that for 1, we, are, we have a y value of 3. So I'm showing that this is our y value. For 2 is a 5. This is our y value. For 3 is 7. And then for 4, it is 9. And you can see that each value of x is associated with exactly one value of y again each value of x is exactly associated with one value of y and this is function so i can say this is function so i'm just making a mark like a yes it is function or i can say it's a function okay so if we have a sets of ordered pair like one one minus one one, two, four, minus two, four. Uh, I'm just showing the mapping diagram here. This is for x and this is for y. So I'm trying to again showing the x values. So one minus one, two minus two. And you can see that 1 is associated with 1, minus 1 associated with 1, I am putting arrow, but this is associated with that 1, 2 associated with 4, minus 2 is also associated with 4. So, when this is the case that you have each different value have a 1 value of y, but x is not repeating even though y is repeating but x is not repeating x is each value is different this is also 
function so i can just say it's a function i can just say yes it is function now if we have a pair of uh, sets of ordered pair like one one uh, one minus one two uh, maybe it's just uh, I can just say it's a four two and then we can say it's a four minus two so if we have a ordered pairs like that okay we have to close the bracket yeah so if we have a ordered pair of like this again we can show you in a uh, in a uh, mapping diagram I'm just showing here so we have one is giving one then one minus one so we have x1 then x1 I can just put x it's the same thing one which is giving y minus one so I can say it's like that y minus one then x is four which is giving two and then four x even four again which is giving minus two. So it is means like it is giving minus two. So what I'm showing here, one is giving one and minus one or associated with one and minus one. And four is giving as, as I'm saying, basically it's input. And this is the output. When I'm using four as an input in the function or in our expression, then we are getting two or minus two as output, as a y. So this is x and y. So now you can see this is not function. It is not function. Then why is not function? Because each value of x is giving two different value of y. So if each value of x giving two different value of y, it is not function. But so it means y can be repeated. So y can be repeated. So you are getting same y for two different value of x. That's fine. But you can't get two different value of y can't give the same value of x. So x cannot be repeated, but y can be repeated. I advise students to remember like when it's say like that is equal, look like equal, it's a one to one. It's like individual value is giving a different different value. So different value of x giving different value of y. It's a function. And when x is not repeating, but y repeating, and you can just remember it's a greater than sign like that. So it's a, it's, if it is like that, then it is a function. But if it is a less than sign, it's like creating a less than sign, then you can say it is not a function. So now if we define what is function, I would say function is a special type of relation where each x value is uh, given or is associated with exactly one value of y. So it means x cannot be repeated but y can be repeated and this is the function so it means all relations are not function but all the functions are relation i'm showing you another method of identifying function if the question already given you the graph how to identify from the graph that that graph is a function or not Let's say we have this graph given and asking you which one is function, which one is not function. We can easily identify by doing the vertical line test. What do you mean by the vertical line test? If you make a vertical line on that graph, if the line intersect only one point of that graph, then it is a function. If it is touching or intersecting more than one point, it is not a function. So here you can obviously see if you make a vertical line here, I'm using the different color to show that this is our line, the straight line equation, our straight line is there. I'm just checking that straight line is function or not. Yes, if you make a vertical line, you can say that the line intersecting only one point. Yes, it is a function. So we can just say yes. If you make a vertical line here and you can see it is intersecting only one point. Yes, it is a function. 
if you make a vertical line here you can see it is intersecting more than one point it is intersecting two point so it is not a function so this is parabola this is straight line this is parabola this is also parabola but this parabola is not a function but this is a function so in order to check the which variable is function which is not we just need to make a vertical line test and then it will tell you which one is function which is not and then we have a circle so it doesn't matter where the circle is sitting if you make a vertical line you can see that it will intersecting two different points so this circle is not function the circle is also not function so when we are dealing with the function we are most commonly come across with the terminologies like domain and range what is domain and range and how to find out domain range from a function or from a given graph i will try to explain our domain and range in my next video and also i will try to uh, make another video based on uh, the one to one and many to one function which is really important to understand the function can be one to one or many to one but i'm not putting all these things in here to make it confused so here we mostly focus how to identify function so we are identifying function based on two different methods first one mapping diagrams and then second one we are using the vertical line test so if the graph is given we most probably use the vertical line test to tell is this function or not thanks for watching this video if you want to see more about the domain range one to one many to one function please uh, watch my next videos thank you